Hey guys, Adam here, also known as Gamer Abroad, and in today's short video, I wanted to show you the monetization practices of Blood Bowl 3, but a quick warning, this is still the early access period. The special currency for this game seems to be what's called a warp stone. I brought the ultra supreme legendary best there is version of Blood Bowl, and it came with 1,000 warp stones. So let's check out the shop. Thus far in the shop, I have not seen any pay to win elements. All I'm seeing are items that are purely cosmetic. You can filter by race. And as we know from my previous video, there are 12 races available. You can also search by legendaries. Let's just take a look at the first one. Click on it. You can see it is an elf devourer. It's a common, it's a head, and it's a black orc. I don't know why it's called the elf devourer. I guess it's because this helmet devours elves. But as you can see, there are no stat boost to this it is purely cosmetic i'm not going to purchase it because i don't want to waste my 75 warp stones on that now let's go down to the most supreme item we can get which is the legendary and let's take a look at that at 750. now my game only came with a thousand so this would use a fair chunk but as you see the legendary item which is the head it's just the helmet here for the imperial nobility offers no additional stats is purely cosmetic how much do warp stones cost if you were to buy them separately you may ask well let's check that out let's click on this warp stone as you can see the running man in the corner has stopped running that means this page is fully loaded so there is no available purchase options right now now I think in the future when it comes to pay to win I don't think they're gonna offer any items that are specifically pay to win as in like helmets and shoulders and arms and left arms and bodies however they will release better races which in my opinion might be a little pay to win because i think the wood elf is superior to the offered two elven races that come with the game well that's all i got for you guys today i just want to show you what will be the monetization thus far in blood bowl 3 and it looks like it's purely cosmetic for now i'm not going to spend 750 warp stones on a helmet for one single race when I only came with a thousand. Also, I have no idea how much a warp stone is actually going to cost, but you can bet later on you're going to be spending your warp stones to buy races, and there's a lot of races coming. Anyways, I'm going to start digging into this game. I'm going to start the campaign. I'm going to link my live stream in which I do that at the end of this video. I hope you guys will come out and join me on my live streams. I hope you guys will subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. Hit that thumbs down twice if you hated it. Uh, either way, leave me a comment and tell me why, and I'll see you guys out in the pitch.